best gear is the gear you have on you. And what is up, guys? It's your average gear reviewer here, back again with another video for you. And in this one, guys, it's Friday. We've been carrying all this gear around on us all day at work. You know, it's time to take some of this weight off, guys. It's time for the TGIF pocket dump. So first off, I'm going to start off with, I'll show you what I'm carrying on body right now, and then I'll switch to a different camera view, and I'll show you, uh, we'll go through everything that I'm carrying, and I'll give you a little bit of reasoning behind it. A lot of my carry hasn't changed this week, I'm going to be uh, perfectly honest with you, I'm still carrying a lot of the same stuff, but I have made some key changes, some little improvements to things here and there that I did kind of want to share with you guys. Also, I'm super interested to see what you have been carrying this week. Maybe what you're planning on carrying into next week. So go over to Instagram, hit me up at Average Gear Review. I'll put it. Uh, I'll put a link up here. I can't remember which way I'm supposed to point now. <laughs> uh, I'll put a link up here for you so that you can go and uh, go over there to Instagram at Average Gear Review and use the hashtag TGIF Pocket Dump because guys, it's Friday. It's time to take these carries off. What, what do you say? Let's do it. Okay, so. Uh, as usual, this is pretty much my uh, everyday kind of sort of wear. I like to wear uh, either jeans or I have a pair of Wrangler cargos that I'll wear. Um, these are some Kenneth Cole jeans. They're like a stretch jean. And I only mention that because these jeans have some, they have, uh, I think it's one, two, three. has three different watch pockets. So I've never had another pair of jeans that'll do that. But anyway, I digress. So I'm going to start uh, with the left pocket. As always, let's go ahead and get this out of there. There's the Lighter Bro Pro. You know, got to have the Lighter Bro Pro on you. Or when you have to take those walks with the cousins or whatever. Carrying the uh, Microtech MSI is my main blade for this week. And again, guys, I'll go through everything that I'm carrying uh, at, here in a second. We'll switch camera views so you can get a little better look at everything. You know, guys, I love to keep the O-Hank. Always lives in the back left pocket. That's it for the left side. And over here on the right side, we have the Muradin Tactical Wallet. As always, let me go ahead and take this off before I forget about it. iMini 2 on a titanium black chain. Whoa, sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> okay, go ahead and take the watch off too. Got the tick watch on. If you guys have watched any of the videos, you already know. The tick watch is always there. I sleep with it on. It's waterproof, so you can literally shower with the thing on. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, okay, got that. Uh, here we go. SOG Power Liter. And again, guys, I, this has got a lot of play lately, and I can't help it. I'm in love with this thing, with the uh, TFP-01 prototype from Knife Eye King. I love it. I've got some different stuff in here, and I'll go over that here in a second with you. Um, oh, I was bad. Hold on. Okay. As you guys know, got the G2C appendix carry here in a Kydex holster with the ulti clip on it, as always. Got the... Olight Boulder RL on there for for laser and white light. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blind you guys there. This is on safe, and I did just unload it, so it's unloaded. Just so we're sure on that. I'm gonna take the Cadex holster off. Yep, Cadex holster. And the, I just found this out from watching. I, I didn't realize what belt I had, but I watched BEEDC's video, and this is the Fairwind Tactical Ratcheting Belt. Uh, super cheap over there on Amazon. I've had this one for uh, about three years, I think, and it does have a little bit of scuffing here. I don't know if you can even pick that up or not, but it has a little bit of scuffing on the belt there from where my holster attaches to it. But uh, I do use the Ulti Clip, so that Ulti Clip the thing about it is it'll grab onto anything, but it is a very aggressive kind of clip. It's got some teeth in there, so when it chomps down, it really... But that's why you can put it inside sweats. You can put it inside shorts. I can wear it on these jeans without a belt. And it actually will stay there just fine. And 
It was, here's a funny story too. I want to tell you guys this really quick because it, it was funny. It just happened last night. I went downstairs uh, to go check out and make sure. Uh, went to go check on our bug out bags, and when I got down there, uh, on my way down, I fell down the stairs. I fell down the steps out back. We have a loose step that I really need to fix, but that's neither here nor there. And it was a. Uh, it was kind of dark out, and uh, I fell off of this step and tumbled. Well, when I hit the ground, I did a, if uh, any military guys know, I did a PLF. I actually executed a perfect PLF, came back up on my feet, and I realized that uh, my holster never moved. So the retention, I, I could say for sure the retention on the gun and flower holster, <laughs> it's excellent. So anyway, um, I'm going to switch over to a top-down view now, and I'll let you guys know a little bit about everything I'm carrying and why. Okay, so guys, I did want to just really quickly go through here with you. Uh, and I forgot to say it in the beginning. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you stopping by to check out the pocket dump. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much, guys. You make this possible. All the videos that I make, I'm making them for you. And I hope you guys like it. And really, I hope you're going to, uh, down below you know, comment, tell me what you're carrying right now. Even better, go over to Instagram at Average Gear Review and, you know, at me on there and show, send me a picture. Show me what you're carrying. I would love to feature some of your carries in the next video. So, you know, we're doing this. It's going to be a weekly series. And uh, so I'd love to, for you guys to be a part of it. Anyway, so what I'm carrying and uh, a little bit about why, of course, the Lighter Bro Pro, you guys know if you've seen any of my videos, it doesn't add much to the size of the lighter, but it adds a nice little tool set that includes a large and small hex key, some adjustable size wrenches in the frame, larger hex key, but it's got a little ruler on it. I mean, it's it just all kinds of really cool stuff that it, then it doesn't take up a whole lot more space than just your lighter. So get you a lighter, bro. Uh, the Microtech MSI. Ah! Okay, guys, so uh, no knives were harmed in the making of this video. The MSI is okay. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what happened. It just, it just flew away. Maybe I'll uh, go back and slow that down and we can watch an instant replay and see what happened there. I have no clue. Let's MSI. flash back and watch ah. that. MSI. Slow. Ah. And again. Ah. Oof. That's embarrassing. No clue. Anyway, the Microtech MSI, I have it set up for left-hand carry because that's one of the great things about the MSI. Full-size knife, this is my off-hand carry, so if I'm carrying concealed, have my uh, offhand weapon there to uh, get to if I can't get to this one. So, uh, you know, the iMini 2, I always have that on, guys. I'm just going to put it back on. I feel weird without it on. Same with the watch. Uh, you know, I always have the tick watch on me. Uh, it's just my always, uh, forever, yeah. When I get up in the morning, I put the tick watch on. I put the iMini 2 around my neck and grab whatever knife usually is nearby. So, um... Of course, the Mirrodin Tactical Wallet, guys, I've talked about this, I don't know how many times. RFID blocking, perfect front pocket wallet, doesn't take up a lot of room, doesn't weigh very much, and it looks really cool. Oh, Hank, you know, you got the microfiber on the inside if you need to clean any lenses, any uh, lights, your glasses, like if you wear glasses like me. Um, you know, just a good thing to have on hand, especially if you have any kind of optics or anything on uh, your weapons. Great to have a little microfiber cloth around. The SOG Power Leader, I've talked about this one to death. It is still my very favorite multi-tool. It is a little bit smaller. It's not a full-size multi-tool if you look at it next to uh, like the, you know, Leatherman's or something like that. It's not a full-size tool, but it offers a full-size tool set in a very, very compact package. And it's... Uh, been a very capable multi-tool. Love it. Um, the Knife-Eye King TFP-01 front pocket organizer. Guys, this has not left my pocket since I got it from Knife-Eye King. Shout out to you, buddy. This is uh, the fourth video in a row, I think, that you have been featured in. I've carried, I've switched my carry around in this a little bit now. I'm still carrying the O-Pin Mini in this slot, but I've moved the uh, Oticle D1 driver over to the pocket next to it. Um, I have the Oticle P2 Mini pry bar, and I have 
a smaller flashlight in here just as this little small EDC light. This is the Lumen Top EDC AA. I don't know if you can get them anymore, but they have a 2.0 version of it now. Um, as course, and of course, as always, in the gun and flower holster with the Ulti clip, I've got the Taurus G2C, the old standby, the old faithful with the Balder RL on it. You can see it's been, it's gotten some love there from being in and out of the holster. Um, and some mods I was trying to make on the holster there. But anyway, yep, this is the old standby, guys. Uh, 12 rounds plus one in the chamber, 9 millimeter. It's hard to beat it. Super compact, easy to carry, uh, no matter what you're wearing, especially with the Ulti clip. You can put it in shorts. You can clip it into uh, sweats, pretty much anything. So, guys, that's it. That's it for the uh, TGIF pocket dump this week. This is what I have been carrying this week. I'd love to know what you think. What am I missing? Uh, is there any glaring things that I'm missing out on having in my carry this week? What are you guys carrying this week? Is there anything different that you're carrying this week? Have you changed anything out? Some people don't ever change their carries, and it's the same week to week. Um, I sort of have a core group of things that I carry, but I tend to switch those out and try different things out just to see kind of what works for me. And, and also because I'm always having to review new knives and stuff. Um, you know, there's just, there's no telling what knife I'll be carrying at any moment. But, uh, yeah, guys, if you like the video, please leave a like down below. It, 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 it doesn't cost you anything and it really, really helps the channel out. So if you want to help the channel out, leave me a like down below, share the video. Um, all my videos are free to use. So if you want to clip anything out of my videos, I have no problem with that. I've set it all up as uh, free to use for anybody. So if you're not subscribed yet, guys, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's the only way that you're going to be able to keep up with the latest EDC gear that's coming out. The uh, we're gonna get reviews coming out. Uh, I've got a review coming up on the Civivi Vision FG that'll probably be out in the next couple of days. So be looking out for that one, guys. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you're carrying. Hop over to Instagram at Average Gear Review. Let me know. Send me a picture of what you're carrying. I'd love to feature you in a future video. But guys, about to run out of time here, so I'm gonna hop off of here. But remember. Always be carrying the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer is out of here. The best gear is the gear you have on you.